Welcome back to Rhea's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Rhea, and on my channel I love sharing all the ideas that I find helpful in my life and home, and hopefully you'll find them helpful in your life and home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave this video, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always notified on all the new videos that I put out. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so let me know that you enjoyed it so that I'm able to bring more videos to you guys in the future that you guys would like. So with all that being said, let's just jump into today's video. And like you guys saw with the intro, it's going to be a get it all done with me type of video because I have so many things to get done, especially on the first floor of my home, because normally that my, the first floor of my home, I kind of break it up um, between tasks around the week. So every day I have a different task that I do throughout the week to keep the downstairs clean because the downstairs is basically where everybody, like if you have people over, is the first thing they see. But I've been kind of slacking lately so I haven't got things done and a lot of things piled up. So I have to get it done today. I also have a bunch of laundry that piled up as well and I'm gonna be cooking too so you'll see some um, cooking with me as well. Plus, I have been sharing with you guys some new cleaning products that I found recently at Dollar Tree and I kinda wanna test them today to see if I like them, especially uh, I need my cupboards, um, the you know the front parts of my cupboards, I want to see if the degreaser one, um, this one is actually a cleaner degreaser and spot remover. It's like an all-purpose one, but I want to see if this one is really good at taking the grease off of the cabinets because you know if you fry foods or do any type of cooking, the grease goes in the air and then gets stuck to your cupboard. So I want to see if this works very well. So I want to try that plus the other cleaners that I picked up. And I have some other cleaning products that I recently purchased because I'm obsessed with this new person that I found on Instagram, um, this cleaning lady. I will link her down below. I found her on Instagram and I'm obsessed with everything that she shares because she is a cleaning lady that is her business. Her and her husband clean houses for a living. And so all the tips and tricks that she was giving about cleaning houses, I feel like she knows her things because that is her business. It's not like she's just someone on YouTube cleaning her own house. She actually does it as a business. So of course she should know the ins and outs of the best products to have. And there was this one mop that she talked about and a, a mop that I've seen everybody use on YouTube and Instagram before and I never got it, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna be trying that new mop in this video as well. And also sharing with you guys a little Dollar Tree hack with a little Dollar Tree Swiffer that I do with my home to save money. So yeah, if you guys need some cleaning motivation today or you just wanna hang out with me today, then you know, get your hair up in a bun get in your comfortable clothes and let's get started so here are the cleaners that I'm gonna be trying today that I showed you guys in my recent Dollar Tree hauls and I'll link all of my Dollar Tree hauls down below if you haven't seen them um, but I showed you some of these in different hauls so I'll put all the recent ones down below but this one right here this little glass cleaner you guys actually have seen me use this in a recent video where it was like a day in the life um, and I shared with you guys some cleaning in that video and I told you guys in the video that I would try this and let you guys know if I like it. I actually do really like it. Um, it made my mirrors look really nice and shiny and even my daughter likes using it um, when she has to do her chores. So this is actually gonna be a repeat buy for me. I like the foaming action of it, of the glass surface and it gets the, the you know, the mirror really clean. I did notice that um, some pieces were left behind. I thought that it maybe it was the, the foam, but it was actually that my microfiber cloth is actually dirty and it needs to be stripped and needs to be cleaned thoroughly. So if you ever use a product that someone says is good, but you feel like that it's leaving like little um, cloth marks behind, maybe check the cloth that you're using. They might need a good washing um, and it's not the product. So I just have to, when I did it with the paper towel, it looked perfect and so I knew that my microfiber cloth was the problem, but this product works amazing. So another product that people have been talking about on YouTube and also on Instagram and TikTok is this carpet cleaner right now from Dollar Tree and I wanna try it today because that my stairs are still carpeted and so is my upstairs. You guys saw that I recently redid our floors, um, but we kept everything upstairs carpeted and, and also the stairs. And the stairs has some stains on it from the girls using their shoes and going upstairs. And so I wanna see if I can get some of the stains out and make it look a little bit nicer with this. And some people said that it works well, so we shall see in today's video. And I think I might start off with that first because um, they said for heavy, you know, heavy soiled areas, you want to leave it um, a little bit, you know, brush it in with a brush and leave it leave it on for a while, and you don't want to vacuum it until it dries. So I want to give it time to dry before I vacuum it, and so I think I'm going to start off with this first. Now the main ones that I want to talk to you guys about were these awesome um, cleaners. There were the three new ones that I saw at Dollar Tree, and I was super excited about these because the net, the normal original awesome spray is truly awesome. Everybody talks about it, and everybody loves it, um, but now they've come out with three 
three different cleaners. This pink one right here is an all-purpose cleaner. Um, and it's for cleaning. It's a cleaner, deg uh, degreaser, and spot remover. This one's a bathroom cleaner, and this one's a daily shower cleaner. And when I was talking to you guys about it on my Dollar Tree hauls, I actually bought these two first. And when I bought this one, and this one said bathroom cleaner, I thought this was the same thing. But this is actually a daily shower cleaner. And I told you guys in my Dollar Tree haul that when I saw this bottle, it looked like the Method one that I already had, which is this one right here, which is one that I use in my shower daily. That's why you can see like the soap. It like it's kind of dirty because it stays in my shower and so it's been showered on and everything but basically the purpose of the daily shower ones with the method brand um, basically after you take a shower you spray your shower down or your tub down and this spray is supposed to prevent any grime or any stickiness or any type of dirt or germs um, getting stuck on it so that when you do clean it it's easier to clean and it's less cleaning for you so this totally awesome spray daily shower cleaner looks exactly like this as you could tell it's the same color they did the same color font everything um, and it is marketed just like this where you can use it daily and after you get out the shower you spray this down but it's also says in the back of its um on the back of its uh label and the instructions it says that you can also use this as an actual cleaner so you can use it as a cleaner to clean down the shower but it's also a daily spray and this one's basically marketed just you spray it and leave it you don't wipe it off it's to prevent any you know more to prevent from having to clean so much now the method one you get 28 fluid ounces and for the totally awesome one you get 32 fluid ounces you could tell it's bigger um uh I don't, the smell of this one is okay. Um, it's a good smell. The smell of the awesome ones, I don't, I didn't really like the original one. That's the one thing I say about Totally Awesome. I don't like the smell of it. So I don't know how this one smells yet, but we shall see. Um, but uh, this one is okay. Now this one right here, this method, heavy duty degreaser. I use this in my kitchen and I love the smell of this. This is lemongrass and Centra... Let's see, Central Central Lila? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to say that one. But anyways, it's lemongrass and that one. Because I don't want to I don't want to miss say something because every time when I miss say something, someone's gonna correct me on it. So I'm just putting it right here so you guys can see it. But these two scents, I don't know which one it is, but whenever I spray my kitchen, guys, this makes my kitchen smell so good and it lingers for hours. So I love using this and my kitchen just for the smell alone. And also this takes off the grease so easily on my stove and my cabinets. So today I'm going to actually try this one for my cabinets because this one is like an all purpose cleaner and it's supposed to be a degreaser as well. So I'm going to try this one for my cabinets today just to test it out and see if I like it and also let you guys know if it's um, a good buy but this one right here is like my ride or die that I use on my stove and to wipe down my cabinets because it really does help with the grease you know the greasy cabinets anytime you cook especially with uh, uh, greasy you know oils or fried foods um, that oil and that grease goes in the air and then it gets stuck to your cabinets so it's so hard to take off with just regular cleaners but this one works very well so I'm hoping that this one works just as good because you know it's a dollar um, and I hope I like the smell of it because like I said awesome it's a good it's a good spray but I just can't stand the smell and then we'll be trying this one as well to see um later on in my bathroom to see how well it cleans um yeah so we'll just be testing these out so hopefully they work well because they're a dollar and i like the original awesome um and maybe i can get past the smell if it's too strong but we'll, we shall see so another new product i'll be trying today is this o cedar mop set um this you know you've seen it if you watch cleaning videos you've seen so many people use this it's basically a spinning mop set with the mop heads and it comes with these white mop heads and the one the seller that i found on amazon you actually get four mop heads um with this set normally you just get one mop head um for the price that i paid for this one um and hopefully it's a good one it's from a good seller because you know of the deal but anyway there's a spin mop and everybody's talked about this um everywhere youtube tiktok instagram everywhere and normally i was like you know what? i love my rubber made mop you guys know that i love my rubber made mop and i was like you know what i don't need this one but I told you guys I found that cleaning lady and she just makes everything look so spotless. I was like, I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to try this today as well. And this thing is so fluffy and so soft. Um, I wonder how good it's going to clean, but we shall see today. So um, stay tuned. This is another one I'm going to try and I will give you all of my thoughts at the end of this video of all the new cleaning products.
Okay, so one thing I can say I don't like, I don't like the way it sprays. It kind of sprayed everywhere and I got it on my walls and stuff. So um, the nozzle, I'm really not feeling because you can't control it. Um, but I'm about to scrub it into some of these stains here and we'll let it dry and we'll see if it works. I don't know about you guys, but one thing that motivates me to clean is music. And sometimes a good song will come on and I just start dancing like I did here. And guys, look at this. Look at this big old tub of laundry that I have to do. I have, I think I did like three baskets of laundry that day. But anyways, I love listening to music <laughs> during cleaning times and stuff like that. And so I got these little ear pods. Um, my daughter got it at five and below. Um, and they were only eight bucks, guys. And so I decided to try them before I buy some for myself. And I actually do like them, guys. Um, so I think I'm gonna pick me up some. But I love having some, you know, some ear pod. Well, not, yeah, I guess they're ear pods. Um, when I'm doing cleaning throughout the other rooms and stuff like that. Like when I'm going from room to room, I like to have something like, you know, have some earbuds and that way I can listen to it um, before I sit down to actually do any cleaning so this is all the laundry that you see me do I've started some piles already those piles that are on the couch right there are my girls piles because I fold me and my husband's clothes and then I'll make piles for my girls to fold their own laundry and before anybody makes comments the reason why I fold my husband's clothes is because he you know he does work he works outside the home so it's you know I feel like it's my responsibility to take care of the, the house I mean take care of the home and so that's why I do my laundry for me and him I wash everybody's clothes but I fold my clothes and his his clothes and then but I want the girls to have responsibility for themselves and take care of their own things and so I have them fold their own clothes as well so that's why they have um, piles on the other side of the couch because I basically put their stuff there and then they can come get it and fold it so that's what I do but it was a lot of laundry this was my first uh, basket and the white clothes was the first basket from the night before so actually it was a total of four baskets I did and then of course with any cleaning video I had dishes that day there's dishes um every day and there's the chicken right there that is thawing out you guys are going to see the meal that I'm going to make with it later it's a delicious meal but you know you can't do a cleaning video without having dishes to be done because there's dishes every day and I'm sorry that the the camera is getting dark and bright going in and out um I had the camera set to auto exposure and it was such a gloomy day today and I feel like every time I do a cleaning video it's a gloomy day but um, I'm gonna start just setting it to like actually like set it my own to an actual like setting um whenever i'm filming these videos because i usually just film it on auto because i move the camera around when i'm cleaning and then um auto exposure and then it sits there and it adjusts the it adjusts the lighting depending on if it sees my face or if it doesn't so when i'm cleaning it, and i'm turned away and it doesn't see my face it goes darker so i apologize for that but i will be getting better in my other videos these cups right here that you see me like pulling apart are the ones that i got at dollar tree that i just hauled to you guys that are amazing cups for the summertime so if you haven't um, seen my Dollar Tree hauls, I definitely go watch them because I have a ton of new finds that I've been sharing with you guys um, that you guys will love that are great deals for a dollar. And also fall has hit Dollar Tree, which I know everybody says it's too early for fall, but you guys know you gotta grab those deals now when you see them. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean my sink. And normally I just clean my sink with, you know, some hot soapy um, water. But um, every once in a while, I like to take the comment and do a big deep scrub, especially when I've, you know, rinsed raw meat in it. So that way it can get a good clean. But most of the time I just basically uh, clean out my sink with uh, some hot soapy water um, for daily use and stuff. I don't like to use the harsh chemicals on my sink like every day. But this day, it's been a while, so I decided that I was gonna use a comment. And so, yep, I'm just scrubbing it along and then getting to those dishes that couldn't fit in the dishwasher and those are the dishes that I rather wash by hand.
So I wanted to take a quick break from cleaning to show you with you guys my new makeup bag. I shared it with you guys on Instagram. If you guys are following me on Instagram or TikTok, I made a video of it and I also shared it on my stories. But this little makeup bag, I saw she's in her apron. She talked about it on her stories and she gave like a little coupon code for it. And I loved it because when she was talking about it, she was showing how they have individual dividers inside them. And so the one that I had before didn't have this. And so all my stuff was like really messy. Like if you watch uh, my stories, you'll see that I was talking about how messy it was. And even in the, um, in the video. Um, and so these are like adjustable dividers so you can move them. And they actually have two more pieces that go here. But I didn't need the two pieces so I took them out. So there's actually two more of these pieces that can go... Uh, here or here wherever you want but they have two large pieces and uh, three of those small pieces but I just love it because it keeps everything organized and inside of the case it has um, like in the in the top part it has where you could put your makeup brushes guys and so that's what I love that you can see your makeup brushes all in one spot and it just it's right here it was some it was actually my old makeup bag it had to be in here with everything else but now i like it that it could be here and organized and this little side pocket i talked about how it's so good to have um for makeup palettes you know how sometimes makeup palettes are big i only have my little makeup palettes in here but um sometimes if you have the big ones you can have it and it just flaps and it closes and i love it i got the marble one it comes in a lot of different finishes and i wanted to share with you guys that because I don't know if I shared it on my channel. I know I shared it on Instagram. I know I shared it on TikTok. I know some of you guys don't have Instagram and TikTok. So I wanted to share with you guys this. And it's really, really cute. And I loved it so much that I asked them for a coupon code for you guys. So if you guys want it, it's Rhea20. And you can get this for around 20 bucks. And I will put the link down below for that. But I also wanted to share with you because my mom liked it so much. Let me move these. I got these for my mom from Dollar Tree. She loves Barbie. So I got these little Barbie doll things. But... She loved the makeup bag so much that when I shared it, she wanted it so she wanted it herself and she was asking me for a link and I was like, no, mom, I'll get it for you. So I purchased one for her and she loves pink and I'm keeping it in the plastic because, you know, I want to keep things new for her, but she wants the pink. So she got this one, which is the woven pink, which they have a bunch of different type of woven patterns, like a beige one, a blue one, all the different colors, um, but she wanted the pink one. So this is how that one looks. So it's pink, woven pink with a black zipper um so that's how it looks really really pretty and i love the marble because you know i love anything marble and it has gold so if you want these these are great i, I highly recommend them i love them you get them for around 20 bucks with my coupon code i'll link it down below and it comes in a bunch of different colors and let me share with you guys also the new pot sets i got so this month is my birthday i am born in june and so my daughters and my husband got me a new pot set because if you guys have been seeing my videos when I cook with you guys, I desperately needed some new pots and I was just looking around for like the best ones and I've read so many different reviews on expensive ones and they had mixed reviews and then I found this one from Walmart, the Mainstay brand, which is Walmart's um, like a generic brand, but I love Main Mainstay. Um, I've gotten a bunch of products from them and they were really great. So I decided that, you know, all the higher end ones they were like $99, $139. They were having like mixed reviews. So might as well get one that's way cheaper. And you know, I don't have to pay this much. So this pot set, guys, was only $39 at Walmart. And it comes in this beautiful teal ombre color. As you can see, it's like dark right here, and then it like um fades into that. So you get the big pot, you get these two little saucepans. It also comes with these three different um spoons. You get the slotted spoon, the regular spoon, and the spatula. It comes with a large um, pan. It comes with a medium sized pan. And then look at this. This thing is so cute. I've never seen this before. Maybe you guys have seen it. I haven't got a new pot set, so I've never seen this. But look at They call this a little omelet pot. And I just think this thing is such a gorgeous set for only $39. And as you saw, I hand washed it because um, I'm starting to keep my. I want to keep my pots looking nice and so I researched why my pots my old pots were looking bad and it's because a lot of them even though they, they say they're dishwasher safe they're not um, and the dishwasher does mess up your pots and pan sets and those oil sprays that you use actually mess up the finish of these um, ceramic or these non-stick um, pans so it's actually best just to use oil and butter on them so I'm not using any more oil sprays so those aerosol sprays I will not be using them on my pots anymore only regular oil that comes in the bottle and butter and so oh, I'm just in love with this set so I will have a link down below so that you guys can get it if you guys want it but I'm absolutely in love with this because you guys know I love blue
Okay guys, so for dinner tonight, it's an easy meal, but it's a family favorite. It's, it tastes so delicious and we made it over and over again. So it is this one pot chicken lo mein recipe. I love Chinese food, so does my youngest. Like we can eat Chinese food all the time. And so I try to find recipes that I can make at home because you know, it can be uh, quite expensive to keep going out. So this one I really love because you can make everything all in one pot and so it's just um, easy cleanup and just using one pot and stuff and so I've already tried this before but like all the recipes that I share with you guys I always add to it so the only thing I changed about it is that it asked for extra virgin olive oil and I added some uh, sesame seed oil because I like anything on t anytime I make any type of Asian um, food or any type of Chinese food I always like to add the sesame seed oil because it gives it more flavor and then I always like to add oyster sauce to it as well and then in the recipe and I'm gonna put the link down below I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the recipe in the link down in the description box below for you guys um, in the recipe that make they use like fresh carrots and um, bell peppers and all that other stuff so you can use any veggies you want but I have this big bag of veggies so I decided I'm just going to use that and they're frozen veggies and the good thing about this recipe like I said it's a one pot recipe and you just throw everything into the pot and then bring it up to a boil put the lid on it and lower the temperature and then you cook it for 15 minutes and it's done guys it cooks the chicken it cooks the noodles all in one pot and it's so easy so amazing and so delicious another thing that I do is um, it asks for four cups of chicken stock so I like to have the bone broth because it's you know healthy for you but I only use two cups of the bone broth and then I'll take two teaspoons of my chicken boilon powder that I always use in my recipes and then two cups of water to kind of stretch it so that's the, the only other thing that I add but this is what we're gonna have for dinner tonight I'm gonna show you at the end how it looks it I mean I wish that we had smell of vision so you guys can smell it because it's gonna make the house smell amazing but it's really easy and so delicious so while I'm waiting for the food to cook, I'm just tidying up my kitchen and kind of clean up the mess from making the dish. And then I'm going to try and test out that new awesome spray. Um, and what I like to do is I like to get a rag and run it with some hot water. And then I like to spray the rag and then wipe down the cabinets. And don't worry guys, I'm spraying the spray away from the food because I know you guys are probably thinking like, oh, the pot is open and because I have to bring the, the food to a boil. I did not spray it nowhere near the food and I did not clean above the food. So don't worry, I'm not contaminating any of my food. But I like to do it this way. I like to have it, you know, rinse the hot water on it and then spray it on the rag and wipe it down. Um, and that way I can kind of like, whenever I'm rinsing it off, I'm rinsing off any like gunky stuff and everything. And so um, that way I could like wash it in between. So that's how I like to do it. But I was just trying to get this done. Um, in between times while I wait for the dish to finish cooking. Okay guys, I want you to take a look at this deliciousness. I gotta put it back up because if not, my camera will get steamed up. But look at this, it's been cooking for 15 minutes and look at it, so creamy, so delicious. Now I will say that in the recipe she's asked, or she said only put a half a pound of chicken. Well, I bought like a pound uh, it was almost two pounds. It was like 1.95 pounds of chicken thighs and I put the whole thing in there and as you can see guys, I think it's enough. So um, depending on if you wanted more veggies, she added more veggies to hers. So if you wanted more vegetables, I guess, but I like a lot of meat, so does my family. And so um, yeah, so I added like almost two pounds of like chicken, boneless chicken thighs because I think it's much more juicier. But look at this guys, it looks so delicious. It tastes even better and it's so easy. You put everything in there, bring it to a boil, put the lid over it and then let it cook for 15 minutes and you're done. Okay, so after using this with just doing the tops of my cabinets, I have to say that it actually works really, really well, especially the top of the cabinet where it has the gunk from all the oil. It they wiped it off with no problem and the smell wasn't too strong. It wasn't a great smell like like my method ones where it makes the whole room smell really good. Um, it's an okay smell, but it's not like something that's gonna make everything smell good in, in, in the rooms like the Mrs. Myers one and the method one, but it is a good product. So what I did was, you know, like I told you guys, I just used, I uh, ran hot, hot water on the rag. I sprayed it on the rag and then I wiped it down and it did a really good job. I'm, go I'm not gonna finish the whole kitchen tonight because I don't wanna do the tops of where the food is at um even though i put the lid over the food i don't want to put do the top um because i am you know i was i'm cooking and also i am going to do a declutter later another video and so i'll finish out the whole um cabinets but i do want to try it so i have to say that i do like this so if you do need something to take the grease off of 
the grease and the gunk off of your cabinets this is a winner it's really good and it's not too overpowering so yes i like it so now i'm going to tackle my floors real quick because i have two more loads of laundry to do which i don't know if i'm gonna get to it tonight i don't know we'll see but i'm gonna go tackle my floors because i really need to like sweep up especially the front part the entrance way of our house and the living room before i started sweeping i went back to the stairs so that i can vacuum up that product because it had been drying all day this was like towards the end of the night and so it was completely dry and so it was safe for me to vacuum up the product so here's a little dollar tree swiffer hack if you guys didn't know already dollar tree carries its own version of like swiffers and basically they have a bunch of different things um, that you can add to create your own, create your own swiffer um, they sell this pole right here by itself and then you buy this piece that connects to it and then you buy the different pieces that can go on the bottom of this so you can make this um, a broom or you can make it a wet mop. They have a bunch of different um, uh, tops for it. And they also have disposable ones as well if you wanna use that attach into here. And so that, that is perfect for you to use and it's way cheaper than a Swiffer. And I have to say that I love this one. This little fluffy one right here, I love to use it to sweep. As you can tell, it collects the dust. I haven't washed it yet, but I, um, I will let you guys know if it stays fluffy after I wash it. But I love this because it slides across my wood floors like I told you guys I recently did my floors and I can't use the vacuum that I used to use so I need to use some type of Swiffer um, or another type of vacuum until I can get that other vacuum that doesn't have like the brushes um, I have to use this because you can't use the brushes on these type of floors or it'll damage it over time so I'm using this but it's it's really cool I basically only spent like what three dollars it was like a dollar for this a dollar for this and then this and this is reusable so for three dollars I got a little Swiffer that I think is really good and like I said Dollar Tree has all the accessories that go with it, but this is what I'm gonna to use to sweep my floors before I mop them. Okay guys, so I am done and I know I look a hot mess because I had, like you guys saw, I had so many things to do. And so I want to give you my thoughts. I already gave you my thoughts on this one. I told you that I do like it. Uh, like I said, stay tuned. I'm um, going to do the whole de declutter and uh, clean with me of the cabinets. I'm going to use this again um, and see if it still holds up its hype. Now the bathroom, I didn't show you the bathroom, um, we cleaned the bathroom because I didn't want to try a big area in the bathroom just in case these might stain especially since it's yellow i didn't want it to mess up any part of my bathroom so i tried a little part of my bathroom especially a part that it had like i dyed my hair black and so there's a part that's like a ring there from the dye so i want to see if it would get it out so i tried this one first it didn't get out the stains but it did get out the grime of like you know the everyday you know use and weekly use the regular clean that you had to do it did um take that away the, like I said, the black dye, I have to figure out some way to do it. I put comment on it. I put, I rinsed everything. I don't mix um, chemicals, but I, in between I put um, the other awesome in it and then it didn't work. I rinsed that off. I put comment and rinsed it off. So I got to figure out if you guys know a way to get rid of black hair dye on the bottom of your showers, let me know because I, I'm trying to get that stain out without it. Last resort, I might just, you know, soak some cotton balls in, in bleach and like let it sit overnight because I've seen people do that and we'll see that but um if you have any other ideas on how to get you know dye stains out of your shower let me know now so this one like I said it does clean everyday clean you know everyday grime everyday weekly grime that you have on your uh tubs and showers but this one has a strong smell guys it has such a strong smell like the regular um awesome and I'm I mean it's like the same color so um I'm not surprised that it has a strong smell. So this one, I don't plan to be using it again because it was making me cough. Now I will say that this one, the daily shower one, actually was a better um, better scent. It wasn't a great scent like the other one. Um, it had like a nice smell. Not the, I mean, not not that it was bad, but it wasn't like 
my I'm like I think I'm spoiled now because of myth, um, Mrs. Myers and the Method brand. I just love their smells. That anything else, I'm like, eh, it's not that good. But it does have a nice smell to it, better than the um, yellow one. And I didn't cough when I use this, so I will be using this one again for my shower. It did take off the grime as well, and you know the everyday weekly uh, things that you get on your tub and shower. So it did do well with cleaning, and so I like the smell of this one better. I didn't cough at all, so. I would say if you do not like strong smells, don't get this one. And if you want to try something, get this one. It's only a dollar. I mean, everybody's different on what they like, um, but it's just a dollar, so this one's worth a try. And also, this one I like as well. Um, the carpet cleaner, um, you guys see me use it. I was actually surprised that this worked so well. So there were some stains on my carpet, some black stains that I didn't think would get up because it was like gunky stains. This did pull it up and also at the edge of my um, my uh, stairs, I don't know if you guys saw it in the video, there was actually a red and pink stain, which I didn't know there was one there. So I'm going to talk to my girls later, like where the hell did that come from? But it actually got it out. So I was super impressed with this. Like they say that this is compared to Resolve. So I would say if you have any stains that you want to get out of your carpet, definitely try this um, because this does work. Now there is some stains that um, it was just like over time of you know wearing the shoes and like the dirt it's it kind of like stained a certain part of my carpet so I don't think that's gonna come up but my carpets actually look really really nice like if I had a professional shampoo or come in it and when I sprayed this and I cleaned it like you guys saw I did at the beginning of the video I let it sit on my carpet while I clean the rest of the house and then I did the vacuuming at the end because I wanted it to be completely dry because you don't want to mess up your vacuums but my daughters came down um, when I had um, in between times when I was cleaning and my youngest one was talking about man mom it smells so good in the house and it was just I had just sprayed this I hadn't sprayed anything else I just sprayed this and I was telling her that it was this so it does have a great smell so it makes your house smell so nice and it takes off stains so this is a definitely good thing uh, definitely a great buy I can't even talk guys I'm so tired this is definitely a great buy and I would highly recommend you purchase this because it really does work so if I had to say anything to buy it would be the glass and surface cleaner the home stores glass and surface cleaner the home stores carpet cleaner and if you want to try the awesome sprays definitely try these two because they do clean well and they're not as strong smelling as you know the other one now the mop it at first when I was using it um, and I started pressing the pedal. It was making a clacking noise and I was like, oh my God, did I break it already? But I don't know, it stopped doing it after a while. So I don't know if it's because it was new, it made this clacking noise. Um, and then when I first used the mop, it kind of was a little bit too wet, um, but I think I didn't spin it enough. And then finally, I the next couple of tries, I spinned it a little bit more and it was better. So I have to say, I do like that mop and I, I wanted to get it because I do like my Rubbermaid spray mop that you guys see me use in my videos all the time because it's great to use every day for like, you know, just, you know, like if you're trying to like, um, spot treat messes, like if you're not, you don't want to do a big mop, like a big mopping of the house. I love my Rubbermaid mop because you can just do like, you know, stain control. Like if you see like a little stain, you can clean it in between times because it has a spray. So I love that. But whenever I'm doing like a big clean where I'm doing my floors and I want to do my baseboards, that's why I wanted to try this mop in a bucket set because I wanted to have it to where I could do you know put it on the baseboards and you saw that I put on the baseboards it took me a while to kind of put it into the way that I wanted to because the triangle shape on this mop is really big and some people like that because it controls it better but I feel like it's too big and it doesn't have enough of the mop head to cover it so I was like you saw in the video I was like maneuvering it trying to figure out how I can run it um, past my baseboards without like scratching my baseboards but after a while I got the hang of it so I do actually like it but I I'm not fully sold on it yet, so I'm going to do a couple more cleaning with it and then I'll let you guys know. But if you want to purchase it, I'll put the link down below. I got that one for $39, $39 or $40 on Amazon and that came with four mop heads and normally when you get at the store, it's like $44 or $45 and you get only one mop head. So it's a great deal. I'll put it down below. Um, but like I said, I'm still, I like it, but I, I want to try it a little bit um, more, a couple more times before I'm like giving you guys a thumbs up for it. But if you guys want to try it beforehand, because it's only $39, $30, 30 or $40, I can't remember, um, I'll definitely link it down below. So, but anyways, I hope you guys got some motivation in this get it all done with me video. Let me know any cleaning products that you guys have tried from Dollar Tree or from anywhere, Amazon, that you guys like, because I always like to try new cleaning products because we can always, you know, try to, you know, we can always 
um, educate each other on what are the newest cleaning products because I don't know what to try out there unless someone tells me because there's so many different things popping up and sometimes you don't know what to buy and you don't want to spend your money so I would love to try something that you guys have already tried and you love so let me know in the comments down below any new products that you like and you love and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys hey guys don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that i put out and check out these other two videos that i have posted on my channel on either side of my picture have a great day